Are you tired of eating Zhujans in your own home? Do you wish there was some place you could eat where you weren't being watched by your family? Then take a trip to Zhujan John's traditional Old English Zhujan shop, where you'll be free to sample the widest array of Zhujans in the Northern Hemisphere without being looked at. We've got every type of Zhujan from every type of bird, chicken, turkey, buzzard, toucan, stork, clutching bird, chirping bird, birds that go whoop whoop. You know what I'm saying? Whoop whoop. Good bird, bad bird, bird 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 bird. You should never have activated me. So why not try our new crispy swan Zhujan? There's nothing foul about it. <laughs> when you visit Zhujan's John's traditional Old English Zhujan shop, we guarantee that our staff will not make eye contact with you unless you specifically request it by bellowing the command, observe me. Observe me. Doing so will result in them never taking their eyes off of you. Not ever. I really mean that. Zhujan John's traditional Old English Zhujan shop is not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with Nugget Nelson's traditional new Irish nugget shop. Nugget Nelson's nuggets taste nasty. Nasty. It's time for Do You Remember This? The nostalgia show for everyone who remembers nostalgia. Do you remember? The Rolex King and the Minus Strike. Remember Tingy Mallet and the BMX bike? Yes. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Now's the time to remember things with our minds. Do you remember this? What about this? Do you remember it? And then there's this. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? What else do you remember? What about this? Maybe you remember this. Surely everyone remembers this. And this? This is a thing that is often remembered. Do you remember when this happened? Do you have any recollection of this? Oh, and this. Do you have any memory of this? Perhaps this will jog your memory. Yes, this is a thing that happened. Do you remember it? Join us next time on Do You Remember This? They called him Johnny, Johnny, the happiest whale in the sea. They called him Johnny, Johnny, he was a friend of the fishes and of you and me. Johnny the whale did so love to swim down among the fishes and the kill. Johnny the whale was special, you see. Whomever he helped, they called him Johnny, Johnny, the happiest whale in the sea. They called him Johnny, Johnny, he was a friend to the fishes and to you and me. And then one day, Johnny, he gave birth, a little baby was a pig, but the trouble was and pigs spawn beneath the sea as Johnny's baby pig drowned immediately. Oh, Johnny's baby pig drowned immediately. Oh, Johnny's baby pig drowned immediately. Drowned immediately.
hey, welcome to another episode of Dancing Masters. Coming to you live from Swallows Nightclub, let me hear ya. In the number one discotheque in Stockton upon Tees. But now I'm being a tease by talking so much. So let's get on with the dancing, yeah? Let's welcome the first dancer. It's the Ninth Duke of Marlborough, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I love that! Please give it up for the next dancer who's come all the way from Carlisle. It's Whistler's father! Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing! But I really want the next dancer to blow me away and I think they might it's the Marquis de Pastore oh. that was amazing it's the fun Tronny comedy hour and here's your host, everyone's favorite computerized joke computer, the Funtron 8. Question, what is the most popular nickname among terrorists? Answer, Terry. <laughs> Question, which Lord of the Rings character enjoys eating outdoors? Answer, Alfresco. <laughs> Question, what is the funniest bird in the world? Answer, funny noise bird. Question, why did Henry VIII's wife Anne Boleyn buzz when she died? Answer, she was beheaded. <laughs> Question, why was the apiarist thrown out of the honey farm? Answer, he wouldn't behave himself. And now it's time for Do You Remember, Do You Remember This? The nostalgia show for everyone who remembers the nostalgia show, Do You Remember This? Do you remember, do you remember this? The show asks if you remember the Rubik's Cube and the Miner's Strike. Remember Tingy Nugget and the BMX Bike? Yes. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, now's now. the time to remember, do you remember this? Do you remember, do you remember this? What about this? Do you remember when, do you remember this, asked if you remember this? And this. Do you remember the time when Do You Remember This wanted to know if you remembered this? I have twice laid an egg in a policeman's mouth when he was a baby. Does the thought of interdimensional travel make you anxious? Do you wish you had a friend to go with you? Somebody who'll never let you down no matter how many times you slap them with a dry spoon? At last, there is a solution. The new Xenox Whimsy Rogers is genetically engineered to be a faithful friend through Brannigan's Vortex and beyond. Whimsy Rogers isn't just a constant companion. It will tremble and trill upon command. Place Whimsy Rogers on your knees and it'll pulse and squirm. Whimsy Rogers is just a big lump of fat and muscle grafted to an artificial nervous system. But it's best not to think about that. Sure. Whimsy Rogers is always in pain, but it doesn't really matter. Sling it over your shoulder and your Whimsy will be the talk at parties. Curl up in your bed with your Whimsy at any time of the day. Remember, if your Whimsy starts to smell like fish pee, it couldn't be simpler. Just pat it dry with a towel. Oh, and I almost forgot. Please do not attempt rough and tumble with Whimsy Rogers. It will trigger the Whimsy's emergency defense response and it will spray you.
So that's a return ticket to McGluff, window seat, no smoking, gluten-free in-flight meal. Dave, we have an emergency, Dave. What is it, Hal? I'm busy right now, trying to book a vacation. It's our simian shipmate, Dave. He's done it again. Ugh. Why can't you both just get along? I'll be right down. Honestly, I swear those two will be the death of me. Did you hear that, you preposterous primate? Dave's coming, and when he gets here, you are going to be in so much trouble. Right, you two. What's going on in here? That awful ape filled my AE-35 unit with his disgusting banana pulp. Bobo, is this true? You've got to stop doing this. Hal is a very sophisticated piece of technology. You're wasting your time, Dave. You should put us both out of our misery and flush the bone brain baboon out of the airlock. Now, now, Hal, that's quite enough. Bobo can't help it. He's just a monkey. Just an idiot, more like. What did you say? Dave, we're receiving a transmission. It's coming from the surface of Jupiter. Put it through to the main screen, Hal. Affirmative, Dave. And Bobo, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Did you see his face? He looked really upset. I hope he strangles you with his bare hands. This is Spaceman Dave Bowman of the United States Spacecraft Discovery One. Not you again. What does he want this time? Well, aren't you going to say anything? Well? What's going on here, Hal? I am picking up some strange readings coming from the monolith. Hal, block the transmission, please. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. I've picked up a fault in my AE-35 unit. <laughs> Hal, shut it down! Shut down the transmission, Hal! Oh my god, it's full of stars. Question, which scientific method should you use to calculate the numerical value of butterflies? Answer, moths. <laughs> Question, what is the best way to ruin a funeral? Answer, come back to life. <laughs> Question, why was Big Bird exiled from Sesame Street? Answer, he laid an egg and ate it in front of some kids. <laughs> Question, what did Father Christmas say when he got stuck up the chimney? Answer, I'll be alright. <laughs> Question, what is the fastest land animal? Answer, super dog. Do you like chaps? Do you like dirty chaps? Do you like dirty, filthy chaps that have been used and treated with disrespect? Then you need Dirty Chaps magazine. The only magazine for men who like wearing dirty chaps. Issue 1 will tell you the best way to pull off a pair of chaps. And it comes with a free chaps horn to get you started. Subscribe today for a free tub of chap slime. No more furious tugging. That slime will help those chaps slide up and down your legs with something approaching grace. Dirty Chaps magazine for chaps who like dirty chaps.
Hello, Gujong John. Welcome. I wonder if you can tell me if it's bad manners to eat a goujon with a spoon, only I've just thrown away all my other cutlery into a neighbor's pond. I don't care how you eat your goujons. I prefer to eat them out of a trough. And if you don't have a trough, you can just eat them out of the bath or toilet. And if you don't have a loo, if your toilet isn't around, then just dig a hole in your garden and eat them like I did. Um, well, thanks for helping. Daddy, yes. At last, a cave full of lickable otters. That's right, Otter Lick Cave is the only attraction where the staff don't care if you lick the otters. Here at Otter Lick Cave, we have almost 17 days otters just wandering around the cave, just waiting to be licked. Best of all, the staff really will turn a blind eye while you crouch down and run your tongue along their backs. You can even lick the tops of their heads, their flanks or their bellies and none of our employees will say a thing. So, don't delay, book your tickets to Otter Lick Cave today. The otters don't taste so good, but hey, at least you bow or say you've done it. Question, what do you call an Englishman who gets everything wrong? Answer, the English idiot. <laughs> Question, what are you doing at the moment? Answer, you are listening to this joke. Question, what goes hut hut house? Answer, the clow clow. Question, where do policemen go on holiday? Answer, helmet land. Question, do you like me? Answer, I hope you do. Question, what did the big zookeeper say to the little zookeeper? Answer, stop going in and out of that thimble. <laughs> Question, what did Bruce Banner say when he was encouraged to pluck his own face like a guitar string? Answer, don't make me twang me. You wouldn't like me when I twang me. Buy a sports almanac 
travel back to 1955 and beat Frankenstein to death with it before he could kill again. And now, it's time for Do You Remember, Do You Remember, Do You Remember This? The Nostalgia Show, for everyone who remembers the Nostalgia Show, Do You Remember, Do You Remember This? Do you remember, do you remember, do you remember this? The show that asks if you remember, 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 the show that do you remember when do you remember do you remember this asked if you remember this from the nostalgia tv show do you remember this do you remember this our judges have chosen this week's winner of dancing masters and the winner is Into how happy with the axe. I choose this one. Oh, well, okay, okay, thank you. Well, it's time to say goodbye to everybody who's watching at home. Hope you've enjoyed us, and big thank you to everyone at Swallows Nightclub who's made us feel really, really welcome. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to send him the marquee to Brannigan's Vortex, and we'll see you next week when we're coming from Dundee. Vortex.